Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Banished. We're going to be starting a new season here. I know it's been a long time since my last update on uh, YouTube here, and I am apologize for that. It has been pretty crazy with life, kids, school, all that fun stuff. We're going to start up with new goals for Season 3, because we finished Mountain Man, if you remember, way back when in Season 2. Took us two seasons to get it. This season, we're kind of going to do um, a lot of achievements that are going to be kind of synchronized together. We're going to go for settlement and villager and town here, which are all reach populations of 300, 600, and 900 in your village. So we're going to go for a long-term large village. We are also going to synchronize this with a couple of more. We have, down at the bottom I believe, established and tenure, which is to have a population of 300 after 100 years, and to have a population of 500 after 2 years. I feel like those, or 200 years, not 2 years. I feel like those synchronize really well with the settlement, village, and town, since we're going for a big population. Now, we are also going to try to get built from stone, which is to have 100 towns, houses in our town. And we are going to try to get, where is it? Uh, firefighters, since we're going to have a large town, we might as well build wells for them. So that's uh, 20 wells in a single town. And then I think the last one we're going to try to do is... Oh, I might have passed it already. It's Builder. Builder is just to have one of every single building in your town. All of those I feel like are going to synchronize well. Here's Builder. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try to get this done. We're going to start a new one. And then we are going to see what Lumberjack Worth Fork. Now that works good. Since we're going for a large population, I'm going to do a large thing large map with valleys so that we have lots of room to grow. I'm going to put the climate on mild so that we have a chance. I mean, it doesn't say that you have to play it on hard. Uh, we'll keep disasters on and we'll have starting conditions start with hard. I really like hard because it gives you the chance to do what you want. So let's go ahead and get this crazy long village name loaded up and we will get started. Now, over the times that I've played, I've learned a lot about placements of where things to go, how quickly to move over to crops versus hunting and gathering, and so hopefully we should do pretty good with the setup here and get this uh, city off the ground as, as soon as it's done loading. Kind of stinks that there's no music in the loading screen. In my subsequent videos, I'll probably already have it loaded up and started. So let's pause real quick, take a look at our surroundings, get our interface set up. As always, I like to have my interface in a particular way. Don't ask me why, I just do. <laughs> and last but not least, I skipped over it. And it looks like these this interface is too big. Um, let's see here, let's go to my options real quick. I'll probably cut this portion out. Alright, here we go. I just changed the interface to be a little bit smaller so that it wasn't taking up so much room there. Hopefully you can see it all pretty fine. Um, this is the way I like to have it set up if you're new. Um, I like to have my log down at the bottom left here so I can see what exactly is going on and then right next to that what exactly I have followed by what resources limits I have and at the top right I like to have my profession assignments and my map. Let's see here, one other option I need to change here is it is trying to scroll at the edge. I don't like that. And resume. So I may or may not cut that out. It didn't take me very long to do. So let's take a look 
We are in a, a valley not really close to the river at all. So that means we might not be able to rely on fishing right away. We might have to just go into a straight um, gatherers, hunters, area, lodge. Um, looking at the ground here, it looks like we didn't get very, like, flat, flat areas. Like, kind of sparsed this over here. Then this is a nice flat area. So if we ever make it over here, this might be a farming area. Hopefully we do make it over there. So let's go back here and let's start building our civilization here. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do, get a stockpile set up. Since I'm going to immediately build a lot of things here that I normally wouldn't quite build, we're going to go ahead and get our road set up. I'm going to go around this area. There we go. And right in the smack middle of this, we're going to start our gathering. Which is under food. Here it is. Gather's hut. And we will rotate this and let's check this circle out. Let's put it about right there. That looks like it covers a good chunk of it. The nice thing about that is we don't have to clear anything out. And then now we're also going to put our Forester's Lodge here as well. Forester's Lodge needs to cover roughly the same amount of area as our Gatherer's hut that looks about right. Oh, gotta put it up one because we got the storage thing right there in the way. Okay, great. So we're gonna have those two buildings. Those are kind of the basis of our buildings. Now, looking at it here, I'm going to need to build my houses. I'm gonna build my houses outside of these circles. So I'm gonna probably build them down in this area right here. The reason being is it's not that long of a walk to get to their job, and it won't take up room for where the trees are going to be growing. And eventually, we're going to try to come over to this area where it's nice and flat. In order to do that, we're going to need a market in a centralized location to service all the houses. And we might eventually have to have multiple markets, but we'll see how it goes with the first little bit. So we have what we are going to need to start with. We're going to need our gatherer's hut and our forester's large to start. And we're going to start stripping all the stone and iron out of this area, as well as cutting down the trees in this area. So in order to facilitate that, I'm going to put another stockpile temporarily right down here. And then we're probably just going to slash this area down first. And they'll bring it all over here. Then we'll build our houses. If I can, I prefer to start with stone houses because they are a lot more efficient with the fact that they're not going to use as much fuel for winter. So let's go ahead and get started. We've been sitting around doing nothing for a little bit. We'll go up to speed 10 because I like it. And we are going to slash this area. All our laborers will then start running over here and cutting everything down. Excellent. We'll assign a couple of these people to be builders so that we can get those other buildings up pretty quickly. And our reserve of logs is low because they're already taking the logs to go build. And look, our builders are building the road, yay. <laughs> Alright, there they are, taking it over there. Gatherer's Hut's going to be essential for us to start with because that's going to be our primary source of food before we make our way over to the lake. Or, I guess we can go to the lake. The lake's a little ways away. The lake might be better than the river, but we're probably going to move ourselves towards the river to start with. Because that's where we will eventually be able to get trade set up. Alright, Gatherer's Hut is going up. Builders are going to finish that up. All of our laborers are happily chopping down everything in sight. Excellent. Only want a couple builders because my primary need is to get the gathering set up. Our logs are low, we know that. We are going to assign a couple people to start gathering food immediately. Uh, let's just go up all the way to four because we really need this food. And the Forester's Lodge is coming up. Great. So our builders will build that. 
And then primarily the next thing we're going to need to focus on is the houses. We'll eventually take this little cart away and put in a storage barn for it. So let's put in two foresters and take away our builders for now. I'll take away one builder because the builders will default back to laborers if there's nothing to build. So let's get this all going and we are in summer. It looks like we're probably going to have to do wooden houses to start just initially to make through the first winter and after that as we grow we'll probably do stone houses. So it's going to take 16 wood and 8 stone so we're going to go ahead and start that process. Let's put them Four will probably be enough for right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the priority on these houses so that they get finished. Um, if you didn't know about the priority button, it is very useful. Uh, that way you can tell it, I want this to be done first. Builder's going to get going. Probably going to assign another builder since two are ready to build. And the next thing we're going to need to get is the woodcutter because we'll need the warmth that's already early autumn. We're doing good with food, so we'll go ahead and assign the woodcutters to be put in. I'm going to put it right next to this storage pile, because that's where the wood is going. Or at least most of it. Uh, nine people without houses, now we're down to seven. So we'll see if we're going to need a fifth house or not. Okay, we have everything going good. Reserve of firewood is low because we just built our houses and we don't have a fire cutter yet. Okay, everyone has a house, good. So let's up the priority of our wood cutter. And get that going because it is autumn now and we need to start getting wood. Two builders and a laborer. We put a lot of people to work in gathering and foresting. I'm actually going to turn off cutting right now. I just want them to plant so that we can get all this area with good trees in it because we have all this area over here with trees that I can cut down. So winter came, late autumn. Woodcutter is almost done. We'll assign somebody into that immediately. And we should be able to survive this winter without much of an issue. Uh, they're still going to be gathering up everything that I told them to gather. So. Alright, two laborers are going to be busy, our woodcutter's busy, and our gatherer already has gathered in quite a bit of food, so that's great. It looks like they're going to be planting, so the next thing after I get stabilized with all this is I'm going to need to remove any stone or iron within these circles. You need to remove those so that the forester can plant the trees so that more trees will grow more... more can't even think of the word. More roots and berries and everything that they grow under mature trees mostly. That's where they flourish. All these berries and mushrooms and roots and onions, they grow in trees. And the denser the forest, the more there is. And so that's great. Let's see. Our population, we can. We don't have any adults ready to move out together. We have this. Uh, Berenity. <laughs> Berenity of the 12-year-old girl could move out, but we don't have a boy to have her move out with, so there's no point in that. Looks like light will be not be turning 10 soon, and that's adulthood in uh, our current society. We have quite a few others, so in just a little bit, we're going to get to the point where we're going to have a lot more people to move into new houses and ideally at that point in time I'm going to want I'll have an influx of laborers so I'll be able to get all this stuff done a little faster and I'll be able to start building the stone houses instead of the wooden houses so that I don't have to use as much firewood. In the long run stone houses is always the better investment so if you can build the stone houses it's going to be better. Everything's running really good, even at speed 10, it seems like it's slow, <laughs> uh, but that's just the nature of the game. When first starting out, there's not as much to do, we just gotta wait for our population to start growing. Uh, we're not gonna have any food issue, we will have a uh, tool issue soon. 
So that's another thing that I'm going to need to do. So we just got another laborer. Before we move them out, I want to get tools up and running. It's expensive to get the tools going because it needs a lot of raw materials. But once it's up and running, it will be good to go. So we are going to put this right here. We got four laborers now, so we got quite a bit. The woodcutter is full, so he's going to start acting like a laborer. Anyone that can't do their job as normal will become a laborer. So since we're full on logs for our firewood, I just have a whole bunch more laborers. So let's up the priority on this because I once in the past, if you watch my other videos, had a tool epidemic and it killed us. So let's get tools up and running before we come close to that tool epidemic because we're already down to four tools. We should about have the resources we need to set it up. We're getting more adults too, so once everyone throws everything in here, we'll see what we need more of, which it looks like it is stone. So I'm going to tell them to gather the stone and put the priority on... Oh, no. They got the stone. I guess they got... Within their gathering, they had enough. So let's put a couple of workers into building. And they're continuing to gather all this, making a nice big open area for me to continue building my utopia storage of goods is near capacity so we're gonna need to build a new thing because the storage cart is full so what we're going to do is we are going to build a storage barn it is. we're gonna put it right here for now and then we're going to replace this with a storage barn as soon as this storage barn is built which I have everything I need and let's start a blacksmith pounding away blacksmith to start making those tools. We need the tools. Okay, so it's telling me that my storage is near full. I know it's full. Prioritize this. Get the storage barn up. Yes, yes, I know. Everything is near full because I haven't built a storage barn yet. Looks like they slashed this area down real good. I've got a good amount of logs. So the next thing I'm going to do to facilitate this area is I'm going to tell it to strip out all the rocks and all the ore. Storage barn is done. Great. We got plenty of room. Now, I'm not sure if I got everything in the circles. I'll let them chop it all up and then see. I'm also going to remove the little storage cart. I'm going to move everything over to the storage barn, and then I'm going to build another storage barn up here. So let's prioritize getting that over, because when this storage... When, it, when you tell something to destroy something, it acts as if things are low, um, but they're not. <laughs> it seems like they're low because they can't access those until they're moved. Uh, we're in winter number two. Food is still coming in pretty good. Um, we have a growing population, so they're eating more. But as far as how much food we're bringing in, we brought in quite a bit of food. As soon as this goes down, we're probably going to put a hunter's lodge over in this area as well. That will facilitate more food. I don't know if having a hunter's lodge um, in woods gets you more food or not, so we'll see. Um, it doesn't really matter. I kind of want to put this into a nice strategic area to where it's all here. So, come on. Take all the rest of this out. You only got 14% left. I told you to prioritize it. Okay, so we got quite a few laborers right now. We got three laborers and two builders. So that's gone now. So let's go ahead and get these people to work. And we are going to get a hunter's lodge want it to cover a similar area that we already have. And so that covers a similar area, a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll put it up this way. Not really sure why that is. Oh, it's at the edge. Uh, come on. Uh, you know, we're just going to put it right 
behind here. But a little further up so it's not overlapping our houses. There we go. We'll put it right there. Well, you know what? I don't like that. Let's cancel that. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Where's the pause button? Uh, little pause button. I found it. Let's remove that. I don't like that idea. Okay. Well, we'll hold off on the Hunter's Lodge. I'm going to put a storage barn here. Right where this used to be. And I want to be able to walk between there. Excellent. So we'll put our road... I always like to put little bits of road in. Makes them move a little faster. Ultimately, it's a good thing. Here we go. So what do we need? Okay, we're going to need trees next. So we're probably just going to hack slash this area. Probably down further this way. So we're going to just gather trees and only trees. We want the trees. Cut them all down, boys. So our tools are up to 50, so we avoided that crisis. Our iron is a little low, so we'll need to get iron soon. Let me check to see if we got everything from this circle. We got most everything, so as soon as we're done with that, I'm going to tell them, gather up this stone and this iron. Any iron on this side, gather up. And might as well gather up that iron as well. Get it all. And get this stone. There we go. Great. So our logs influxed nicely, so we're going to need some more iron or we're going to run out of tools. So I just gave my workers a lot of things to do, and once I get some iron in, I think I'm going to build a stone house. So let's look at it. We're probably going to put it right here with our other houses, since we're going to have a lot more workers in this area. Currently we got a lot of laborers, but we are planning on putting a, a hunter's hut in this area as well. So, we're going to do that. We have enough for it, so we're going to go ahead and build the house. So the stone house takes significantly more resources to do, to use, but it is definitely worth it. So right now we have enough for one, because it takes ten iron. Um, once we gather up that iron that I designated, though, we're going to have more iron, so we'll be good. And we are slowly making our way towards the river. So that'll be good. We'll probably build over to this way. Put a river fisher's hut down here with a couple of houses. And that'll also give us access to this nice big area that we will put another group of gatherers, hunters, and foresters lodge. So that will work out nicely for us. Okay, great. We're bringing the stone in. Let's check our housing situation. No one there. All right, our, our girl is now 20 years old. We still haven't found her a match yet. We have, um, looks like, three different people of a three different couples of age that could move out. So we have the builders. The only thing we're missing is the stone because they're off gathering the stuff. Up the priority here. We want this done. And we have enough for another one as well. There we go. So we have three couples. We'll build two houses right now because I know I have the resources for that. And then we'll probably build a third as well because we want to get our population growing. We have plenty of food, so it's not like we are going to lack for that. And also all these little berries and stuff in this area, I want to gather it all out. We slash this area down. So I want to clean it out. So here we go. Uh, the 20 year old still doesn't find love. Let's get this done. Actually, I'm probably going to have to up the priority on this one as well. Let's get that going. And it uh, looks like winter number three is coming, but we are fine. Uh, we're, we're doing good. We don't have any coal, but that's fine. We don't have any herbs. That's fine. Our health is going down a little bit, but uh, it's not that big of a deal yet. Uh, we will be fine. Health isn't something that you've got to immediately take care of. Health will be fine the way it is. Let's see if the 20 year old finds love. And... 
she does. Yay! Now she's 22, and she took a younger boyfriend, or husband. And we got a nine-year-old girl there, or a boy, eight-year-old girl, a nine-year-old boy, a 17-year-old girl, and a nine-year-old boy. So we're about to have another group. Didn't I say that there was another group ready? Maybe not. 18-year-old and a 10-year-old. So now we have another group ready. We're going to build them a house immediately. And we're going to continue our little structure here. And we're going to up the priority and get this house going. And we've got our tools, we've got our iron, everything is going grand with that. We've got plenty of resources that I still have my laborers going for. And so I'm going to leave them as laborers for now, because we've got plenty of food, and basically we just need the raw materials. Excellent. So this area is building up the trees nicely so that the gatherer will have plenty of food to gather. It looks like they're doing good. Current season, even better than previous season. So those trees are maturing. Excellent. It's doing great. And here we are, we're going to have our new couple find love and make babies. Because we need lots of people. Yep, 10 and 18 year old. Stella May and Audio? Well, that's an interesting name. We got Audio over here, boys. And let's see here, we got a 10 year old boy, a 11 year old boy, and a 10 year old girl. So you know what, we're making another house. And it's going right there, excellent. So this is probably as many houses as I'm going to build right here before I move over to start building houses in this area for the hunter and gatherers over here, as well as the fishers. And I'll probably put up a market right here in the middle that captures all the houses so that everyone goes to the market for their goods, and it'll be great. Although, I might want to build down this way. This way has a really good area as well. This bend in the river is actually really good for fishers because how much water is in their circle is how much that they will get. How much f they produce more food when there's more water. Okay, so we found love for our 10 and 11 year old May, Maine, and Healy. May you live well and prosper. Alright, so next thing on the agenda. We're doing good. We got uh, a decent amount of logs. We need more stone. And we need more iron, which we have a lot of. We just need to figure out which way we're going to go. Let's clear out this area down this way. We're going to take all the stone here. Go. We're also going to take all the iron in this area. And I believe we're probably going to build down here. I know I said the other place, but I changed my mind. I want to I build over here. All the iron and stone in this area will go into our reserves, and we will be happy. We've got quite a few laborers, so we need to start up more production for food and for logs. So what we're going to do now that this area is mature, we're going to turn on cutting. So they're going to be able to cut, and we're going to up the amount of logs that we, can, that we want to 300. We haven't reached our peak for food yet. We probably will once we get this new area operational. We will probably start considering getting uh, clothes. We'll see. One other thing we could do is we could make an herbalist over in this area uh, to get medicine. Uh, I don't find it a super big priority because I mean the health isn't going to go down much more than this. We have a good variety of food. Nothing's going to gonna be too bad. And it looks like uh, late summer number four. So we're almost going into our fourth winter already, and we're doing pretty good. Uh, we have doubled our houses. And we do not currently... We have a 13-year-old boy there. I don't think we have another couple that can move out yet. 13-year-old boy can't find love. Oh, everyone's too young. That's, that's kind of sad. Like, the next person is this 4-year-old girl. And uh, so he's probably never getting married. There's always that one person in the village, right? That never gets married. 
because he can't find anybody and we don't got anybody else to, to get married to. So let's plan out this area. We are going to have kind of a replica of what we had before. A Forester's Lodge that covers as much area as possible without covering all of it. So that would be a good spot right there. Followed with a gatherer's, or not a herbalist, a gatherer. So food. In that same kind of area. So that would give us um, the food and trees. And then if we have fishers down over here, and we build our houses kind of in this general area away from where the trees and stuff are going to grow, they won't uh, get in the way. And if we build our market kind of like right here, we might be able to capture quite a bit. Let's see how much how much space the market does. So the market goes quite a ways. So if I were to do something like that... Oh, we had a death of childbirth. There's so nothing I could do about that. Uh, our first death. 30 minutes in. Almost to year five. We had a death in childbirth, but we had a baby. If the baby was born. Actually, I don't think the baby was born. I think the baby died. So, you can see here we can put the market here. And if we put houses down to the bottom and to the right of it, all the houses will go to the market for its centralized goods. Which works out really nice to be able to spread out a little bit. So let's see here, we got all of that actually taken care of, so it looks like we can actually build um, our jobs here. So let's go ahead and get it started. Start with the gatherer's hut. And this right here, we want to have as good as possible. So that's going to cover quite a bit of area and leave, let's go like that, leave a little bit of room for our houses. Excellent. And then the woodcutter, or not the woodcutter, the forester, we'll put it right across from it. Well, maybe. Let's see here. Put it on this side. It covers a little too much. Put it on this side. No, nope, we're going to put it right here. It'll be effective enough. Overlapping those areas. They're gathering all that up. Uh, let's check our children situation. Eight-year-old... Oh, and there's the childbirth death, the 31-year-old woman. Where's that 16-year-old? Why doesn't the 16-year-old take the 31-year-old and uh, support him, huh? Wouldn't that work? So, our next batch of children are not of age yet. Nine-year-old males there seven-year-old female there, so they're not quite of age yet, so we won't need to build houses for them yet. We'll see. We're probably going to need to build a hunter's hut soon, because we're not getting any protein in our diet right now, and we need protein. How are you guys doing? So yeah, darn near a thousand mushrooms last season, lots of berries and onions, we are just barely into spring, and we are already gathering quite a bit here. Woodcutters are now gathering up wood and chopping. I like to have about two woodcutters in there. I know it's not the most efficient, but I don't like them to chop down the stuff too fast. Because if they do, then we will not have mature trees in there. Should we have Sharon now? Is that a guy or a girl? Sh Shero Lynn is a guy. It's an interesting, uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, let's get these buildings built up a little faster. And we are going to have the gatherers hut, and we're going to prop this up to eight gatherers. So that took out a good chunk of our workforce. Drop this down to two and we're going to put two more foresters in. Excellent. And we have base number two coming up. We are also going to turn off cutting for now. We will now put in... Where is it? Here it is. Storage. So 
since this area is already kind of clear, we're going to put the little storage thing right there. And we're going to build a storage barn right here. And we are going to put in our roads. Excellent. those roads. There. Roads around it all. Good. We need a couple of builders, though. So this is expanding into our second hub of hunting and, or not hunting, of gathering and foresting. You can see this area is set up nice. It's got quite a bit of trees around it. I've gotten to the point where I'm allowing them to cut the trees, and it's not going to affect our gathering as much. We're going to get our storage barn up here so that our gatherers have a quick place to store their food. And Dominia is now an adult. Is that Was that a girl? Here she is. Excellent. So now, in order to facilitate this area, we're going to build our houses right here. And we have enough for it, so we are going to build our first stone house. Right there. That way these people will walk over into this area to work. These people will continue in this area to work. I'll have a centralized market here, as well as some more centralized buildings that are going to be producing things. So we should be fine. And as we continue to grow, our laborers will continue to go up. And we'll probably start building some roads in between these areas for faster travel, so that they path through the roads a little bit better. I always kind of wait to build longer roads until I know kind of the pathing of how people are walking. And it seems like most of them are coming down through this area, down. So I'll probably do that. But we'll get this house coming up first. We have probably a couple more people that will be coming of age. There's another male. There's another female. Excellent. There's a female. Female, good. We needed the females. Excellent. So we'll have quite a few more people coming of age soon. And then we will be building more houses. And then while we have it over here, I'm probably going to build the fisher set. Alrighty, more people just came of age, excellent, and more children were born. That's going to boost everything up for us. And we'll go ahead and build the next house. Right there. And that'll be good. This area is already brought in its fair share of food, which was nice. And so once we get this next area established, get the fish and everything going, we're probably going to build the market and build the roads to the market so that people will then go to the market for their foods. Now, I don't know if this hill is high enough for me to put a tunnel through, but if it is, a tunnel through this area would actually be the best. Let's see if... Alright, so I can put a tunnel through there. That would work. It would be better if I put it right through there, because then I could put a gap between the houses, and they can go through that to get to the thing. And it takes 40 stone. I'm going to go ahead and build that tunnel. It's going to be for the betterment of it all. Hey, look, he did find love. He took a 12-year-old. And there's our next love. Excellent. Do we have anyone else that can move out currently? Uh, poor Rodolph, he's never going to take another wife because he's sad of his other wife that died in childbirth. Um, it does look like we do have at least one more. Almost two, so we'll go ahead. This is building here, so we're going to space this one out to allow for them to come through. Like that. We'll build our next two houses because we know we're going to need them soon. And we're doing perfectly fine on food. We haven't reached our limit for food yet. 
And there they are, they became adults. And look, this tunnel is through here now. So we're going to build the road. And like that, and we're going to build another road to it like that. That way we can travel through this area and the market is going to be put right in this general area. It'll be great. And then I'm leaving this area open. I know that people that work here are going to come to this area. So we'll go ahead and build that road as well. Eventually I will replace it with stone road, but dirt road increases their speed fast enough that it's not going to be as big of a deal that we're not going to need um, to go to stone yet. I really like this little tunnel. It's going to be perfect. Excellent. So these people, gatherers, forester gatherer, forester labor. So all these people are actually working right over here, which is amazingly good. We'll probably need another house for the fishers. Maybe two houses for fishers, because you can do four fishers. So fish is probably our next priority. Looks like we're actually reaching our limit for food, so everyone's become laborers because I don't like that. We're going to raise our food limit up to 6,000. Okay, so babies born already, people moving in, excellent. Our population will continue to grow. Do we have more people that can move out? No, no. These people are getting beyond the years of childbirth. Almost, I guess, not quite. There's a seven-year-old girl, six-year-old boy, six-year-old girl, ten-year-old girl, so we don't have another boy to move out with yet. So everything will be running perfectly smooth here. Now that all of these people are here, the only difference is they're coming up here for their foods. So we're going to go ahead and get that market set up now. Since we know where it's going to be and who it's going to cover, I'm going to bring it down slightly and over because I'm going to put more houses down in that area. There we go. That market will service the area. These people down here are just going to go directly through the tunnel to the market. And these people will just come right over here to the market. It will be great. Uh, apparently I don't have much stone, so I better gather more of that. I wasn't watching my stone. We'll have them come over since this will be our next area that we're going to kind of claim. We'll start grabbing all of this stone. And we have plenty of laborers. Too many laborers, really. So we're going to get this up and running. And our people are fairly happy. Our health has gone down a little bit more, but we're still three, so that we're average. We'll probably consider getting an herbalist now. We'll see. So this took a lot more stone than I thought, so they're going to go gather all that stone. I have plenty of iron, I just didn't have enough stone. This area is growing its trees nicely, excellent. That will make the gatherer more effective. Go ahead and get the market up first, build the roads, and then we will get more things going on from there. This market will cover this area, so we'll probably put some houses right in here to facilitate this next gatherer and forester area, and everything will be centralized. And it's leaving me quite enough room in the middle to continue building, so this is really nice, I like that. And our stone is low, of course we know that. I would say we could consider a quarry, but it's really not time for that. We've got lots of resources in their general vicinity that we can still gather. So it's really not quite time yet for a quarry. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Market will be set up. Um, the market's job is to gather all the resources to a centralized location so that the people in the houses can come to the market instead of going anywhere else. So since we know we're going to be using this market a lot, we're going to build our roads up to the market and around the market for fast movement. And we're going
going to assign right now two people to go to the market. And they will start gathering the resources. They use a wheelbarrow to gather resources so they can carry more, so it makes it more efficient for them. And then we will probably make a nice road from here going over. There we go. Because we're probably going, we're going to be building stuff in this area eventually, so we'll have that straight road set up for them. And now this will become our bustling center area right here. So we have established ourselves. We're in the year seven years, seventh year, and we have about thirty, close to forty people. We're not doing explosive growth yet. We could stand to have almost another person, another group move in. Uh, we got a couple of boys almost to the age, and we got a couple of girls that are ready. And so, they are ready to be married. They are, they're, they're done ready. They want to have babies. So we're getting everything established here. We cleared this area. We've set up this. It's been about 45 minutes on this episode, so I'm probably going to end it right here for this episode. And the good news is I'm probably immediately going to start another one. So I'm just going to pause this. And I will see you in just a little bit. Thanks for watching.